Hi, a few days ago the question came up on one of my videos about Jack for Windows. And the question was, with my onboard sound card, so the sound card built into my computer, how do I use multiple outputs with uh, Jack for Windows? And to be more specific, how do you send the master output from Ableton, for instance, to the speakers and have the queue in Ableton be sent to a separate output that, for instance, has your headphones? Well, there's good news and there's bad news. The bad news being that Jack only allows you to connect to one output at a time uh, by default. Uh, the good news is that there is a solution that instead of uh, connecting to your system devices directly, you route everything through uh, ASIO for all. But before I show you how to do that, I would first like to explain why exactly you can't have multiple outputs in uh, Jack for Windows. If I look at the setup and you look at the output device here, it's set to default. And default here means that it picks up whichever device I have set as default uh, in Windows. And if you look at the drop down, there's a few other options here. Or if you click on this arrow, a few other options pop up. And all of those are separate devices so I cannot select multiple ones I can only select like my primary sound device I can select my uh, stereo mix or the, the digital output but there is no option to select two of them so what it comes down to is that in the connections window Jack only sees one writable client your speakers or whichever output you have set in Windows as being the default device and you cannot have more than one uh, but on to the good news which is using ASIO for all um, if you haven't installed it yet just go to asioforall.com download the driver and install it and once you have it installed if you then look at the jack setup you should see a drop down here that says audio for all if it's not available here click on the little arrow and it should be there audio for all that is what we will be using but first I need to do something else if I have a look at my playback devices you can see that I have a speakers here and I have the digital output so currently I only have one output my speakers and well, I need two outputs so I can have another output to send the queue to. And luckily I have a front panel on my computer, which is where I plug my headphones and my microphone in. And if I go into the control panel and have a look at the Realtek uh, configuration applet, there is an option here that says advanced settings. If I click on that, I have another option here that says make front and rear output devices playback two different audio streams simultaneously. So if I click on that, then click on OK, it refreshes and I now have my speakers and I have the front panel uh, as a separate output, which is perfect for what I'm about to demonstrate. Just note that if you're using your um, regular output and your digital output, uh, this step is uh, not needed. And if I now have another quick look at my playback devices, you should see the speakers and the second output, which is my headphones. So I will be using these two. If you're using the digital output, you don't need the second output. Close that. I'm going to stop, check, go into the setup. I have a configuration ready. I call it ASIO for all. So this is what you'll need. The interface, select ASIO for all. If it's not available here, click on the arrow, select it from the list. And then in the output device, the same thing, select ASIO for all. If it's not available in the drop down, click on the little arrow, select it. Uh, everything else is pretty much default. I think I have a little higher frames period than I normally use. And click on save. Click on OK. Now, just so you know, before I hit the start button here, because uh, we're now using 
Azure for All with Jack. Uh, Azure for All will lock down my sound card, so I will no longer be able to record my voice for this video, and I will have to do a voiceover later on. So, once you're ready, hit the start button. Once check is running, notice the icon in the system tray and click on it to open the Azure for All configuration. Uh, if you run this for the first time, this is what you will see. Just click on the wrench at the bottom right to go to the advanced settings. And you will now see a list of inputs and outputs for your sound card. Which in my case is the one at the top and the one at the bottom. So if you're going to use the digital output, make sure to select it and unselect everything else. If you're using the split output and uh, you're running this for the first time, Jack may not have picked up your uh, headphones. So what you need to do is stop the server and start it again. And then have a look in the connections window and make sure that all the uh, writable clients are there. I just happen to know that I need 10 of them, which is uh, the case here. So let's now move over to Ableton, go into audio preferences and uh, select Jack Router as our audio device. Enable outputs 1, 2, 3 and 4. And then set the queue out to go to 3 and 4. Next go into the Jack connection and you should see that 3 and 4 are automatically mapped to uh, the sound card uh, but most likely the wrong ports so we need to dis disconnect them and then manually set all the connections that we want so 1 and 2 goes to the uh, 1 and 2 on the sound card and in my case 3 and 4 go into 9 and 10 which happens to be the headphones Going back to Ableton, we need to do one more thing, which is to set the queue out mode. So by default, the queue out is set to solo, um, which means in solo mode, soloing a track mutes all other tracks. That's the default. And what we need is queue mode, which will then route the audio into channel 3 and 4. So let's switch this to queue mode. I'll now go ahead and play deck A and notice that it goes to the master and because the crossfader is set to deck A we can hear uh, deck A through the speakers. Let's now go ahead and play deck B and because the crossfader is still on deck A we can currently not hear deck B through the speakers. Of course, moving the crossfader now enables deck B. And if I now click on the Q button, I can hear deck B in my headphones only. There you have it. So enabling Q mode with uh, Jack Audio Connection Kit and Audio for All. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.